Hello, my lovely Geminis. This is Debs and this is your TGIF weekly love reading for Friday, the 19th of May, 2023. Gem, I hope you're well. It is lovely to be with you. Let's jump in and find out what's going on for you guys for this week. Using, as always, a crystal quartz to help me connect through with Source, and the deck is the Tarot of Mystical Moments. All of the decks that I use, Gem, are in the description box below, as well as the details for my website, where you can book a private reading if that is something you'd like to do. All right, here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the TGIF weekly reading for my Geminis. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus... Friday the 19th of May, thank you Michael, wow it's all coming out, Friday the 19th of May, moving into the weekend and a fresh new week, thank you Michael. I'm hearing someone say I don't know what to do now, Gemini you may have found out something and it's put you in your head you may be wanting to revise your future plan as a result of what you've learned. That's what's come through. Okay, guys, let's find out what's going on for you, Gems, back in a minute. Okay, Gemini, we start off with the Page of Swords. I believe this is your energy, okay? I feel as if you wanted to know the truth about a situation because you seem to be sat in the energy of the hermit. Now, you could have wanted to have a very straight conversation with a Virgo. We've also got Scorpio shown here, okay. I think you wanted to know why you felt left out in the cold. What's going on with you? The devil. Now, of course, some of you have been dealing with a Capricorn. You may have felt that your person was either sitting in toxic energy, interested in somebody else, not telling you, lying about it, covering it up, or it might be that you found out that your person that you were hoping to develop a relationship with was actually a little bit obsessed with somebody else. You may have found out, Gemini, that with the Eight of Wands, this person sat in devil energy, was messaging somebody else. That's why you had been left out in the cold. That other person could be a Queen of Cups, a Pisces Cancer Scorpio, who may not have known, Gemini, that your person and you were supposed to be building a relationship. This woman may have thought your person, maybe your man, was single. So, with the Five of Wands, I think that there was a lot of internal conflict about this. Do I fight for my person? Do I let them go to form a relationship with this Queen of Cups? You may have done a lot of thinking, Gemini, Eight of Swords, in your head. Do I really feel I want to build a life with this person? Or, if they're interested in somebody else, should I just bow out gracefully? And let them get on with it. I think with the energy of the death card, Scorpio energy, you decided to put an end to this connection. You may have thought, what's the point if they are interested in this Queen of Cups? I've got competition. I don't know if I really want to fight for this guy. All right. Particularly if they were sad in the energy of the devil. So with the Six of Swords, I think Gem... This is you moving forward. This is you uprooting yourself emotionally, psychologically, leaving this person behind. What you don't know is that with the Page of Pentacles, I think you're going to be building some kind of connection with someone. It could even be a friendship, which may later on lead to the Ace of Wands. Yeah. So when you look back, Gem, you may think to yourself, you know what, this is painful. I lost someone that I felt I really wanted to develop a relationship with. But what you're going to realize, Gemini, is the divine had other plans for you. Okay. Let's see what else we have for you, Gem. This is The Sacred Forest by Denise Lim. What else do we have for my lovely Geminis? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think, Gem, you're going to cut your losses. Now, you may already have decided to move away from this person because you may have found out that they were interested in somebody else, even a bit obsessed with somebody else, you know? Yeah, you're no one's option, Gem. Let's have a look, guys, see what we've got. We're starting off with activation. Gemini, with a nine here, three and six is nine, you may have felt as if you were going to be progressing a situation. You felt activated this was your person. This is you as a single person, okay? Swans mate for life. You were hoping that the wheel was going to move forward. This is almost like, what do you call it, a merry-go-round, something like that. And this is you thinking, I'm waiting for my person to get serious with me. But you waited for quite a long time with a nine. And you felt a bit on your own. That swan is on its own. What you realised, that with playfulness, this person was messaging somebody else behind your back. I've got to be honest. This is why they began to emotionally detach from you. I think you decided... Gem, that with the energy of wild rose fairy, I'm hearing roses have thorns, you decided to push this person away. Because with a four and a seven, which is 11, this person had a choice to be with somebody else and you are nobody's choice. Yeah, you're nobody's second option. So I think you decided to put up boundaries. You broke free of this connection, Gem, or you will be and you're embracing your freedom. You're seeing the bigger picture. Okay, if this person wants to be with somebody else, I've just got to let them go. Bowing out gracefully. What you don't realise is that in doing that, you've kick-started a new cycle and you're manifesting commitment. This is the equivalent to the 10 of cups. Four and six is 10. We have a lot of water energy here. You're manifesting a 10 of cups with somebody else, Gemini. New beginning, Daffodil Fairy, another 10. By closing out this previous cycle, Gemini, you are actually bringing in a beautiful new connection, which is gonna bring a lot of happiness. Look at the daffodils, a lot of bright light energy. Gorgeous. So Gem, that is where we start your reading. All right, people, we're getting into the tarot. This is the Tarot de la Nuit, okay? Why don't we start this reading for my Gemini's Michael? Thank you. The Hermit. Okay. Now, guys, you got the Hermit twice. So you could indeed have been connecting to a Virgo, hoping to be with a Virgo long term. Or this simply tells me that you felt left out in the cold. Yeah, you were waiting for this person, Gem, to sort of move things forward in this relationship. Four of Swords. But this is you painfully watching time tick by. Huh, when are they going to really get serious with me? And you began to realise, Gemini, that something wasn't right. Something just didn't seem right. King of Swords. Now, Gem, you could have sat in your masculine energy, or you could be a masculine, but I think there was a very straight conversation with this person, or there will be. What was this about? Yeah, Three of Cups. Who else are you messing around with? Who else are you messaging? Hmm? Yeah. You began to realise that there was something here that this person was hiding from you. Two of Wands. You realised that this person was trying to make a decision between you and somebody else. This is very difficult, Gem. Knight of Wands, I think, Gemini, you may have felt, okay, this person isn't ready to commit to me. They're not ready to settle down because they're messaging somebody else passionately. They're sitting in the energy of the devil. And I think, Gemini, you thought to yourself, I don't think I want to stay waiting for this person to get serious with me any longer. You saw a different side of this person, Gemini, in the nicest sense. The devil, devil twice. Now, they may have been seduced by maybe another woman, who knows? But this person wasn't ready to settle. They just weren't ready to settle. Queen of Swords. I think this is you, Gemini. I think 
If you haven't already, you're going to have a very straight conversation with this person. I don't think there's going to be arguments, tears, remonstrations. I think you're simply going to say, look, if you're interested in somebody else and you don't know if you really want to develop things with me, then I'm not waiting any longer. I mean, it's mortifying for me. If I'm sort of sitting here waiting for you to choose me or another woman, I'm out of here. <laughs> what was on Gemini's mind? Yeah, I mean, Gem, you were hoping to be this person's empress. But if you look at the energy of that empress, where's the colour? You were waiting and waiting and hoping and praying. This is kind of Miss Havisham, right? Where the hell is my groom? I could be sitting here for the next 10 years. <laughs> I want to be an empress, but it's kind of not happening. I'm still on my own. Mm. Seven of Pentacles. Looking at the past, Gemini, thinking, you know what, I've waited long enough. You could have been dating this person seriously for seven months, but still felt as if they were sitting in, dare I say it, a little bit of shallow energy, page energy, messaging you passionately now and again. It wasn't really kicking off. It wasn't kicking off. Yeah. Ace of Swords. Gemini, this is you deciding to literally close the cycle out, cut this person out of your life, you're taking charge. I'm hearing way past time. Taking charge. Yeah. Yeah, because you could have been hanging around for five years. Ten years, who knows? There was absolutely no movement at all in this connection. Yeah. Yeah, so Gemini, this is you finding your internal power and strength. You know your worth. This is you detaching and moving forward. Detaching and moving forward. Yeah, this is you healing, Gemini, star energy. You could be a star in your own right. But this is you realising that you have to let this go. You have to let this go. Yeah, this is you making a decision, Gemini, with a card of judgment to detach. Could have been connected to a Sagittarius. Pisces is also there. The world, ending a cycle, Gem, deciding to move forward, no longer waiting. Yeah, very challenging. The Magician. What you're realising that you can now manifest, Gemini, is someone who is wanting to build a long-term relationship with you. You're manifesting a stable partner, not somebody who doesn't really know what they want, sitting on the fence, messaging other people, right? Yeah, yeah. You're manifesting your Ten of Cups. Beautiful, Ten of Cups twice. So, Gemini, this is you closing out the cycle, Maybe feeling a little bit nostalgic about the past, but I think you're realising you're doing the right thing. What is this person's energy? This person that Gem is detaching from, Michael. Page of Cups, all right. So they may say to you, look, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. They may admit that they met somebody else. Their feelings changed. They could be a bit mortified, right? Yeah. The Hierophant. This is somebody who is telling you, I felt a deep spiritual connection with you, but I'm sorry, I think I'm wanting to be with somebody else. You could have had issues with a Taurus. You could have had issues with a Taurus. Yeah. With the Six of Cups, your person may have met someone and they might have decided to go back to that person because they felt a spiritual connection with them. What are you saying to this person, Gem? Yeah. So what you're saying is, okay, that's a reason why I felt left out in the cold. I felt you were becoming disinterested. You didn't message as much because you were interested in somebody else. But Gem, you're looking to the future now, all right? Yeah, death cards, Scorpio energy. You're closing out this chapter and you're looking to manifest a Ten of Cups with somebody that really wants a relationship. 
What is going to happen here for my lovely Geminis? The moon. Okay. A little bit nervous. Am I going to find my person? You're a bit afraid, you know, big bad world out there. I hope I don't get taken for a ride again. I don't think so, Gem. You've just been through a bit of a rough patch here with this person. Knight of Cups. Now, there is somebody else that is interested in you. Could have been somebody who has been keeping an eye on you for a while. Maybe they stayed sort of hidden in the shadows a little bit because they felt that you were developing a connection with this other guy. I think they're going to be coming forward now and expressing that they have feelings for you. They could be a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. Hmm. How is this person feeling about my Geminis? Page of Pentacles. They want to develop a relationship with you. It's going to start slowly, which I think for you is fine because you're just kind of still getting over what happened with this other guy. Temperance, yeah. Sagittarian energy, you're going to be biding your time because you're sort of still healing. But I think that this is something that's going to grow and develop. It may even start as an attraction, but more of a friendship. But the passion is definitely going to kick in. Yeah, the passion is going to kick in. The Wheel of Fortune. The Divine is shifting you onto a brand new cycle, Gem. I almost feel that for you, this is going to be a breath of fresh air. Nine of Cups. You may be quietly thinking, Gemini, oh my goodness. Well, maybe, maybe this is my person. How is this new guy feeling about Gemini? Ace of Cups. Very attracted to you. And of course, Gem, you have a lot on offer. You're in nine of pentacles, pre-empress energy. This is you standing strong, a lot of self-respect, sitting in self-worth. And I think this person is very attracted to you. What is this person's energy? Goodness. Nine of pentacles. Yeah. Gemini, they are really wanting to build a relationship with you. I don't know why I'm feeling a bit of a shy energy from them. They are in their head a little bit. Gemini, I don't know why they feel as if you may not be ready. I don't know, Gem, whether or not you're going to say to this person, look, I need a little bit of time because I've just been waiting forever for somebody else to commit to me and they didn't. They may not feel as if you're totally over this other person. Was this how is this new guy feeling about my gems yes they think you're a little bit defensive Gemini now this is just you fearful of getting hurt how else do they see Gemini keeping it really light with a page of wands you're purposely consciously putting up very strong boundaries why because with a high priestess, you're nervous this person is keeping a secret, Gemini, or you're simply needing to delve deeply into your intuition before you move forward with this person. Seriously, you're taking your time. The Chariot. Gemini, you could be connecting to a Cancerian. Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles or an Earth sign. This is someone who really wants to make it work with you. I mean, I feel as if this person is trying to hold themselves back. They just can't do it. They want to know if you want this. I think they're getting frustrated that you may be holding back. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. They're wanting to put in the effort. They're wanting to be with you. But your mindset is, oh, hang on, hang on. I'm not sure about this. Why? Why? The sun. Well, this person makes you happy. They could be a Leo. Maybe you're nervous, Gemini, because this person lives at a bit of a distance. You know, you can't really see what they're doing. 
at a distance, worried that they may be messaging somebody else. You're going to find yourself heartbroken. How is this going to end? The Four of Wands. Now that's a surprise. Gemini, I think in time you're going to realise that this person is wanting a serious relationship. It may develop very slowly with the Page of Pentacles, but the passion is there between the two of you. This is someone that you're very attracted to and vice versa. This is your new beginning. This is your Ten of Cups. This is what you've manifested or will be manifesting. So, Gem, maybe you just need to take it slowly, but just know that this is somebody who really wants a relationship. Four of Wands, Gem, is this person in maybe the next few months talking about getting serious. I mean, that's moving in together, getting engaged, right? So try not to be too defensive if you can help it. You may want to explain to this person you're quite ready to get serious. You're healing. You are looking for commitment, but you've had a bit of a nightmare with this guy. But don't push this person away because they have genuine intentions. Okay? All right, guys, let's get messages. Gemini, Hidden Truth Oracle Deck. Let's find out, first of all, what the person that you've decided to leave behind wants to say to you. Because I think this was a painful shock, realising they were messaging somebody else. So what do they want to say to my gems? Yeah, I want to tell you how I feel. So Gemini, if this hasn't happened already, they're going to be admitting that they have feelings for somebody else that they met in the past. And you may decide to say, OK, well, I'm nobody's option. If you want to go for somebody else, all right. Yeah. They want to tell you their life is not as together as it seems. I think this person has been up in their head, stressing about this, feeling an intense connection with you, but thinking about a spiritual connection with somebody else. All right. Well, Gemini, this person could have been a karmic soulmate. They're grateful for the spiritual lesson with you. So they've learned a lot being with you. I couldn't let you get close to me. Yeah, Gemini, there was something about this person where you felt them emotionally detach. I think it's because their emotions were actually for somebody else, even though it's mortifying for you to know that. But I think, Gemini, you're cutting free of this connection because you're actually destined to be with somebody else, to be with another person. So now, moving to messages from the heart, light worker, tarot and oracle. Let's find out what this new guy, I feel, could be feminine. I don't know, take it as it resonates. What this new person would want to say to you, Gemini. Mm. There's no one in the world as amazing as you. Wow. Gem, they may put you on a pedestal. I feel so much passion for you. Goodness me, Gemini, this person is really attracted to you. But not just that, this is someone who's really ready for a commitment. I've never felt such an intense connection. Gemini, have you got someone here who's a bit obsessed with you? Uh, yeah. Okay. Do you think about me? Gemini, this may be somebody that you knew a while ago, but they didn't approach you because they may have felt as if you were waiting to move forward with somebody else. I think this person is really wanting to be with you. And I think they're going to show you. I think they're going to show you. Yeah, they want to be with you. I want to spend the rest of my life loving you. Wow, this person does mean to get very serious with you, Gemini. You may decide that you want to take your time because you may have been healing, Gemini, from this other connection not working out, okay? Final message, Michael, for my lovely Geminis. I'm making choices in my life that will have a major impact on us. Wow. Now, Gemini, if this person does happen to live at a distance, it may well be that what they're thinking about is, if it works out with my Gemini, I may well decide to move closer to them so this can really work. 
But Gem, I think this is a beautiful reading. I'm leaving it there. Have an amazing weekend. As always, sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye, Gem.